Hey everyone, let's get my vintage Apple IIe computer from 1983 to output a crisp RGB video signal to a modern day VGA monitor in 2024 and beyond, instead of having to rely on the retro composite output that most of us use with Apple IIe computers. I'm currently doing that right now using my small JVC PVM monitor, and that looks pretty good, but it also takes up a lot of space having a CRT, and it's not as crisp as it could be like with an RGB video signal. So how is this possible? Well, thanks to the A2 vid GA card from Joe's Computer Museum, who took Mark Atkins' open source Apple II VGA project on GitHub, linked down in the description, he made some updates to the PCB design and taking it to the next level. So sit back and relax. Let's look at the card from Joe's Computer Museum, get it installed in my Apple IIe, and hook up a VGA monitor and see how good it looks. Here we are out on the bench, and you can see that I have the A2 vid GA card from Joe's Computer Museum. And what he did, from what I can tell, based on Mark's original designs on GitHub, linked down in the description, was he went from using through-hole components to doing surface mount. I mean, the Raspberry Pi Pico is still through-hole. But everything else is all surface mount, which is really nice and clean. He also added some printing for front and back with arrows, so you know that when you install this, front points towards the front of your Apple II and back towards the back. And let's show you the back of the board. Also has back and front, designed with love in Ohio and the little smiley face, ASCII smiley face. So pretty cool. And then of course we've got the VGA cable that plugs in here. And then you can feed that to the back of your Apple II case. So how is this accomplished? Well, Mark Atkins, link it to his GitHub down in the video description. He, uh, his software, it's snooping the 6502 bus and creating a shadow copy of the video memory within a Raspberry Pi Pico. Then he's processing the raw video memory contents to output a perfect signal. So now we're going to get this installed into my Apple IIe, grab a VGA monitor and see how good it looks. Here we are in handheld mode. Let me grab a flashlight here, get some more light on the inside of the machine. I've got it installed in slot three, and I just have the ribbon cable going out of the back for, for right now, but I will make it all pretty and nice and have it go through one of the port holes there on the back. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And as you can see, you got front and back. It's installed correctly. This card can be installed in any slot. And yeah, right now I just have in my floppy controller card that I use with my floppy emu that you see right there. So yeah, let's uh, put the lid on real quick and hook up the VGA monitor and see how good this looks. I went ahead and grabbed my NEC VGA monitor. I use this a lot with my DOS gaming computers when I don't use a CRT, but I chose this one because it's a white color and it, I think it looks pretty nice with the Apple IIe. But look at that, I'm shocked at how good it looks. The colors are so much more vibrant. I mean, wow, just, I hope it's coming out on the camera, but it looks so good. I'm gonna bring up another game. I'm gonna bring up a, a favorite of mine. Choplifter is a lot of fun, but I'm a real big fan of Hard Hat Mac. So let me uh, get that queued up on the floppy emu real quick and we'll see how that looks. I'll also zoom in on the screen. Here we are zoomed in on Hard Hat Mac. This was a game I played so much back in the day. And I still like playing it now in present day. It looks so good on the VGA monitor. Man, this VGA card for the Apple IIe is amazing. I highly recommend you pick one of these up. And what's really great about it, not only that you get the really great VGA signal out of an Apple IIe, they're, they're only around 40 bucks US at the time of recording this video, plus shipping. Link in the description to where you can order one from Joe's Computer Museum. You could also go to GitHub and um, get the design files, but that's for the older, you know, the previous version with, you know, through hole components and stuff. But for 40 bucks plus shipping out the door, you cannot go wrong for this. Something else to note, there is a configuration utility for the VGA card. I'm not 100% on what it does, but we're going to check that out really quick. So stand by. I went ahead and booted up the Apple II VGA configuration disk on my floppy emu. You can download that from Mark's GitHub. The link for that is in the description. And at the time of recording this video, it's version 1.3.0. Apple II VGA card 
in slot. Uh, we installed it in slot three, so we'll hit three. And it brings up copyright information and all the things you can change. Scan lines on or off, monochrome on or off. Uh, you got character configuration, Apple II Plus, VidX on, Apple II Plus, VidX off, color patterns. And speaking of Apple II Plus, this will work on an Apple II Plus, but you'll have to update the firmware. And that firmware is on Mark's GitHub. I'm currently running the Apple IIe firmware because, of course, I'm using this on an Apple IIe. But for an Apple II Plus, you need to update the firmware. And I remember reading you can also use it on an Apple II GS, but I'm not sure how to do that. I haven't tried it yet. But let's check out some of this stuff. Like uh, number 11 says about. So let's check out the about. Gives you information about the project. This project is a VGA card for Apple II computers to output a crisp RGB signal to a VGA monitor instead of having to rely on the composite output. So that's basically the text from his GitHub. And he's got a link to his GitHub page there. Pause if you need to see that or check out the video link in my description below. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and uh, quit without saving. I'm not going to mess with any of these settings right now. Alrighty, I'm going to bring up another game and we're going to wrap up this video. And here we are with Crossfire to close out the video. So yeah, if you want to be able to hook up a VGA monitor to your Apple IIe or Apple II Plus computer, check out my links below to Joe's Computer Museum as well as to Mark's GitHub. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down twice. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.